Hi guys, my name's Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about jealousy because we talked about insecurities and inadequacy and how to overcome those the other day and so as a result jealousy I feel is the next kind of step along because it's a much more intense feeling um, of both um, kind of envy and, and insecurity and worry and, and all of these other bits and pieces all rolled into one. And you know it applies, as said, to, to as with the inadequacy stuff we were talking about before. It applies to work. It applies to relationships an awful lot. It applies to to hobbies. It applies to your general life and the feelings that you have in in just kind of existing. And so as a result, I got five things here that I just want to talk to you guys about that maybe you can consider when the next time you you start feeling jealous and and how you can maybe deal with that those feelings a little better so that you have a better outcome afterwards so it has, you know because it hasn't affected you so much now the first one is the most important one because purely without this you you don't have as much to work with um the first thing is you need to work out where the feelings are coming from yeah as I've said in other videos when I've been talking more about relationship stuff and so I've touched on jealousy in the past, when I feel jealous or, uh, or feelings of jealousy stir up inside me when uh, in regards to my partner, in regards to Hannah, then a lot of it doesn't come down to me being jealous of, of, of her for anything or even necessarily thinking that she'll run off with someone else or whatever else like that. It come, most of the time it comes down to the fact that we're very rarely able to spend time together in kind of a, a physical, straightforward, person in front of you kind of way. And as a result, when she's off out with her friends and so on and so forth, I may be more a little jealous of her friends because they get to spend time with her in person, you know, talking to her and doing stuff with her and whatever else, where I would love to be able to do that but just due to distance it's harder for me to do and it's something that doesn't happen as often um, but as a result though I can I can kind of break that down see where it's come from and kind of sift through all of those bits and pieces so that then I because I know where it, it's come from because I know where it's directed and I know that there's not really anything to, for me to worry about it it's easier for me to then kind of relax and let the feelings pass um, or at least express the feelings in a way that are more constructive than destructive. But that's where our second point comes in, and that is you need to calm down and you need to not act out. Yeah. And the simple, the simple reason for this is, as we've said in, again, other videos in the past, emotions are very much more suggestions um, than they are compulsions. Just because you feel a thing doesn't mean you need to act on it. Doesn't mean that you need to go do because it's it's buzzing around inside you and you can feel it in your chest and all that kind of thing. No, 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 no. They're suggestions. You have complete control over you. In which case, when you're feeling these things, if you know where they're coming from and if you can calm down and you can make sure that you're not just going to act rashly on all of those sudden feelings. You know, you're not going to start stalking your girlfriend. You're not going to start. Um, getting angry and yelling and screaming at your boss for giving someone else a promotion over them. You're you're not going to be potentially thinking about stealing things because someone else has got them, got them that you, and you want them desperately for whatever reason. You know, you're not going to hold grudges against people just because they've maybe been dealt an easier hand in life than you have. You know, you you're just going to relax, you're going to take it on board, you're going to know where the feelings come from. And you're going to stop yourself from going out and potentially doing something that would be really harmful both to you and the people around you. And the way that you're going to do this is is where we're going to touch in on our, our next three points. Yeah, The ways that you're going to be able to stop yourself from doing this, simply put, a lot of these, these issues come from your own insecurities and your own inadequacies, which we talked about earlier in the week. But as a result, though, when you're feeling these things after you've stopped yourself from acting out rashly and you know where it's coming from, well, you've got to look at how you can aim to beat that little inner little voice in the back of your head that's potentially telling you you're not good enough, telling, telling you that the other person got the job because you suck, telling you that your girlfriend's potentially going to run off with someone else or your boyfriend's going to potentially run off with someone else purely because you aren't good enough and you're not desirable enough to them. That, that's 
there's a good chance that that's complete bollocks and it's going to be in the back of your head though twi you know twittering at you and and making noise at you for no reason other than it's there and you've got to deal with it yeah in which case the way to overcome those kind of things is have a goal and make that goal that you be the best you that you can be those things that you were good at before that drew your your partner to you or got you your last promotion or got you the job that you're working in in the first place or that got you so far in whatever other activity that, that you're in um, you know focus on those behaviors and then try and take them up a notch yeah if you were really if the thing that got you the job was the fact that you were incredibly well organized and you were good with the system and you were good with dealing with 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 people and stuff like that then the other person may have got the promotion before you because they also could do something else but you might not be able to do that as well play to your strengths aim for that goal of being the best you possible yeah and when you do have a bad day when you have a tough time dealing with these emotions or dealing with other emotions or whatever else you know count it as you had a bad day tomorrow is going to be better and then just keep going straightforward easy yeah the next one though is um you know kind of a, a no-brainer you would have thought really and that is especially in regards to relationships and things which is when you're feeling jealous of other people go and talk to them about it be it someone that got a promotion over you yeah be it the 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 boyfriend or girlfriend that you're maybe worried is is going out and doing other things you know express it and express it constructively express it in a maybe in a, in a more positive way yeah go to the person that got the promotion before that that you were going for and maybe congratulate them and say that you are really hoping for it and you're a little jealous that they got it but you'd be really appreciative if they could maybe give you some pointers so that then the next time a position comes up you can progress yeah so that you can keep up behind them turn it into a working relationship so that you are taking on board things that they're saying and and stuff like that don't make it competitive make it collaborative move beyond those those negative emotions and move into a much more positive kind of space with it again with your your boyfriend or girlfriend make a point of saying the you know this is this is how i'm feeling right now and it's because i care but i'm also worried that i'm not matching up to these things can we discuss this just so that i've got some peace of mind and i can put this away that i can file this away and it, it shouldn't bother me and if it does bother me i can just refer back to the what the conversation that we've had so far you know um and that, that those conversations can sometimes be a little messy but usually when when someone is is feeling inadequate in a, a genuinely caring relationship then if you turn around and say i'm feeling this way can we just have a chat about it just for my own peace of mind and the other person's going to say yeah sure and they're going to sit down and they're going to have the conversation and everyone's going to feel better afterwards everyone's going to have greater understanding of one another and then it allows you to move on and you don't have to worry about it again in the future because whenever those things come up to you again then you can you can continue to to work past it to you can continue to just develop with it and that's it and then finally the last one which again comes kind of back to that that video from earlier in the week about inadequacies ultimately no one's perfect there are going to be days when when you feel really really jealous really really down when you beat yourself up because you you are having all these thoughts going through your head all these emotions going through your body and maybe it's caught you on a shitty day and you've got no defenses against it in which case uh, again try and keep calm try not to act out but take it in perspective not everyone is going to be able to handle all of those emotions and all of those things all the time cut yourself some slack find a way to relax and then deal with the bad shit as you as best you can and try better tomorrow try again tomorrow yeah 
have a night's sleep on it, let it clear your system, and then see how you end up the next day. The one thing that, that is most important is, is, again, trying to stay calm, trying not to just act out randomly because that might lead to other consequences further down the line that you've, you've not really um, got any way of dealing with any more so than you did those emotions in the first place. But, you know, you're not perfect. No one is. And so if you have a day when you really beat yourself up over it uh, or if you don't have the people to talk to or the the aren't in the right kind of headspace to direct yourself towards the be, trying to be the best you, then that's fine. That's completely understandable. Cut yourself some slack. Go. Okay. Yesterday was a bad day, or today is a bad day. Tomorrow is going to be better. Yeah. Simple, straightforward, and realistic. Because if you're talking to the people, if you're gaining the information, if you're you're cutting yourself enough slack just to recognize that you're human and that everyone is going to have these emotions at one point or another, then you're going to be fine and you'll come out the other side and you'll be able to pick up and you'll be able to get where you're going. Whether that's with the help of a partner, help of a co-worker or whatever else, you're going to progress and that's the main thing, that's the important thing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you very much for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video or at all found it useful or interesting then please drop me a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the video tomorrow, take care.